Hello everyone. So in this episode, we are going to continue with the RPG. So here we are going to implement this RPG grenade. So the RPG puna. So when we shoot, when we shoot uh, the grenade will be detached from the weapon and it will be it will be moved to the whatever the direction we are aiming at. So that's what we are going to do today. All right, so now let's look into the shooting part for the RPG. So <laughs> the way it is in the back is obviously odd, but we will look into that later. First, let's implement how to shoot actually using this. All right, so as I said before, I already have uh, let's uh, let me open. this one. Uh, this RPG bullet as a separate mesh. So we need to use this when we shoot. This should emit from the RPG. Right. First let me open the rpg blueprint so this is obviously inherited from the vp gun and all the shooting mechanisms are implemented here under fire like this okay so here we have check more and here we do align trace so this is basically the shooting logic from the nozzle we do align trace to the point where we aim and then if there is something in that point in that line trace we call on bullet hit so that's basically what happens when we shoot so this part let me select this whole part except this sad recoil uh, should be customized for the for the rpg including this bullet trail Right, so how can we do that? Yeah, let me reorder this a little bit. Then oh, there is a muscle flash reference here. Let me deactivate it here. Uh, we don't need a longer line, so that's less confusing. Right now, let's create a custom function. custom event and it pull out do we need double yeah no we don't need double F. okay then we can move that whole selected part except this recoil part point here right now then 
let's collapse this part to a macro image bullet yeah. uh, the reason to convert it to a macro is actually we are not going to reuse this but mm, we are going to replace this whole part with the uh, image bullet function image bullet custom event not function right now let's connect it here shall we check if everything is working as we thought it does okay right now okay, now we can override that emit bullet here emit bullet event mm. so let me copy this entire thing uh, can I copy the map code itself I'm not sure let's see oh we can't can copy this part actually we don't even need an output here oh. since we are connected we have connected it to directly to a uh, event right all right so now let's create the bullet blueprint so for that what i need is uh, it should be a separate actor print class actor let's call it rpt well actually rpg stands for rocket propelled grenade so this is actually a grenade okay rpg means rocket propelled grenade right let me add this under the default scene root In the RPG mesh, the nozzle is here. Uh, well, actually, that's not quite correct. And also, we have this bullet socket, which, which is like this. Okay. So anyway, I'll make the RPG grenade. Let's move it. Uh, To match the center perhaps like this mm, okay right this should be fine now also we need the trail of this so actually I already have the rocket launcher particle let me open it yeah it's like this Let's attach it. Oh. Let's call it trail. The 
this should be rotated into the other side. Shall we attach this into the RPG and see how it looks? And I'm gonna attach this under bullet. Right, it seems fine. There is a slight difference but it's quickly going to move away from the rocket so it should be fine uh, but anyway we can match that as well if I just move that move the bullet slightly forward Now it's fine. Okay, but I'm not gonna keep this here. I'm gonna really remove this because I need to dynamically spawn this as I shoot. Also, we don't need any of the collisions here. So, no collision. Alright, so now uh, when I shoot, that means here. Before we call this on bullet hit, uh, we can actually we don't need a bullet trail here. Oh, wait a minute. We could have used this. Ah, it's disconnected anyway. So we are not using it anyway. Right. So now here I'm gonna spawn. Wait, do I have to spawn? Yes, spawn at home class as the class use RPG grenade. And as this bomb transfer, collision handling always is for ignore collisions. And this one, uh, yeah, here we can get the gun mesh, get socket transfer. And the socket name is bullet because we already have this bullet socket and and it is in world space split so let's connect the location and rotation the as for the transform scale it should be one 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 no need to change that right and after after that, we can call more com no get root component of this object and call more component to within let's say point six seconds. Actually, this has to be changed based on the distance we have. Mm. All right, out distance. Let's divide this by five hundred. Oh no, maybe two thousand. And let's use it as the time. And as the target uh, relative location. We can use uh, the 
impact location but what if there is no impact Yeah, actually we do check check that here so yeah why don't we do that check before yeah let's do it here Front. there are a blocking hit if yes we can move the rocket launcher to the hit location and the rotation oh, there are too many lines here rotations should be same get rotation we don't need to change that and if there are no wait right this is actually not needed uh, now this part is not needed What was the pause there? Okay. Right now, if there is no hit here, what we have to do is we can use the same, still use the same part, same move component tool, and move the root component. Rotation is same as before, but for the location, we have to use. The target distance would be I don't know one second say right and after that we need to destroy that bullet uh, let's do that later but first let's see if the bullet is actually ejecting right it is working oh that's wrong doesn't properly get the aiming direction Let's see why is that hmm. I think we don't really have a valid character reference where do we set this When we put the gun, okay. Right, this is the problem. Here I haven't given the self preference in the CH player. Oh, wait. Wait, no, this is actually not used. Uh, for some com compiling issue, this get target location has been renamed to get target location zero. So that's the problem I'm having. So this is for NPC soldier and this is for player soldiers. So what I have to do is I need to override get target location. Right and it should be same as this function 
So let me copy this and paste. Same should happen for the NPC soldier as well. get target location 0 now oops still no what's wrong ah huh, sorry this has being disconnected need to connect that uh, and here also this should be the target if nothing is hitting similarly oh for the NPC character uh, I'm not sure why that happened though Right now it is working now let Me disable this line trace debug mode here and also in the main gun blueprint Now the rocket launcher should work properly right and when it hits it should explode and we do have uh, this uh, grenade explosion effect uh, yeah uh, anyway let's use one of these explosion effects uh, this one also fine it's simpler mm -hmm. and yeah so as for the left now here we can uh, wait we can define a function to explode inside this RPG grenade. So let's create a custom event. Explode. So this will set life span of this object itself to let's say 0.2 seconds and then the spawn emitter at location so we're gonna give you get that location and let's spawn the explosion also we need a sound play a sound at location explosion right we need this explosion sound effect right now in the RPG, we after it is moved, we can call explode. Similarly, here also explode. What's the warning? Oh, this is not compiled. Right. Now shall we check? Okay, 
it is working uh, now the only thing remaining is we need to hide the bullet that is already in the mesh character mesh so to do that yeah this part has already taken half an hour so let's do that part and also correct in the location in the back of the character when the when the rocket launcher is attached to the character uh, let's look into those things in the next episode so for now i'm gonna stop this episode right here all right so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye